So you might be in a situation where for some reason your DS BIOS files are not working on your, on your particular Delta emulator. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. The number one reason why something like this may end up happening is usually because your BIOS files that you downloaded were kind of corrupt. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application right up here inside of your Delta emulator. You want to scroll down until you see those little options that basically say, you know, where your DS BIOS files are under core settings. And right here, what we're going to want to do is you want to make sure we're bringing in the correct ones. So for one, if they are still saying required, that basically means that you have not inputted them correctly. So tap into your you know, BIOS files right here, and you want to find those BIOS files. So in this case, I have this one right here, which is my BIOS 7 file. You want to make sure they're properly downloaded on, you know, from wherever you got them from. They don't have to be from online. They can be ripped from your actual DS. You want to make sure you're using your proper BIOS files because that's going to be the big problem. Now, my BIOS non-bin file, you want to make sure you're doing the same exact thing. So find that file. So for me, it's right here. Go ahead and download it, and that will be another way to go and fix it. Now, you want to make sure you're inputting the proper ones. You want to make sure BIOS 9 is in BIOS 9. You're not putting BIOS 9 under BIOS 7 or any other ones, because if you do that, that's also going to run into problems. And then under firmware.bin, you want to click right into here, and you want to find that particular file now too. So I don't know where this file is. It's somewhere here. So wherever you find it, you want to go and basically add it in, and that is going to be the other way to go and fix that problem. So add in every single file that you basically needed from before, and that is basically, as you probably would have guessed it, the main way to fix it. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, you may want to reinstall Delta, re-download those particular DS BIOS files, but usually you just need to re-input them again, and for the most part, that should end up fixing the problem. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.